Welcome to MH2801 video segment on examples for Cauchy Riemann conditions. In the previous in the previous video segment, we saw how when a function uh, f of z can be when it is written in terms of x and y, which are the real and the imaginary parts of the complex number z uh, itself and the function itself, and we write it in terms of uxy which is the real part of the function and vxy which is the imaginary part of the function uh, and we also learn then that we then we learn then that if okay if df over dz exists okay it implies the cauchy riemanns conditions which is del u over del x equals to del v over del y that's the first of the two cauchy riemann conditions and the second cauchy riemann condition is del u over del y equals to minus del v over del x okay and actually the implication is two ways that means if the Cauchy Riemann conditions is true, then df d over dz exists. Now, let us apply the Cauchy Riemann conditions for the two examples that we have been discussing so far. So, the first example is fz equals to z squared. So, if we write down z as x plus iy and square this, then we find that its real part is x squared minus y squared and its imaginary part is i to xy. This actually says, tells us that u of xy, the real part of f of z, is equal to x squared minus 2, not 2y two squared, but x squared minus y squared. Let me get the eraser and uh, erase it. Okay. So uxy, the real part of the real part of uh, f of z is x squared minus y squared, and then the imaginary part of f of z will be 2xy. Now let's see whether these real part and imaginary parts of f of z satisfy the Cauchy Riemann conditions. Okay, now to test that, we do is we will evaluate del u over del x. And we find that this is actually 2x. We can also evaluate del u over del y. This is minus 2y. And at the same time, we can evaluate del v over del x, which is equals to del v. V is here. So del v over del x is 2y. And then del v over del y is equals to 2x. And therefore, we can see that del u over del x is equals to del v over del y, and at the same time, del u over del y is minus del v over del x. So indeed, the Cauchy Riemann conditions are satisfied for fz equals to z squared, which means that its derivative exists. Now, what about the other example? that we have been discussing so far, which is, okay, f of z equals to the absolute value of z squared. Okay, so this is equals to x squared plus y squared. Okay, which means that, of course, the real part of f of z is equals to x squared plus y squared, and the imaginary part, since we don't see any term that is proportional to the unit imaginary number, this means that the imaginary part of f of z is 0. So for this particular function, if we evaluate del u over del x, we will find that it is 2x. If we evaluate del u over del y, we will find that this is 2y. If we evaluate del v over del x, and this will be, of course, equals to also equals to del v over del y, and that will be equals to zero. And this tells us that del u over del x is not equal to del.
del V over del Y and of course simultaneously del U over del Y is not equals to minus del V over del X okay so the Cauchy Riemann conditions are not satisfied which means that df over dz does not exist except so let's change the color to red except okay except when x equals to y equals to 0 then the Cauchy Riemann conditions will be satisfied. This means that f z equals to the absolute value of z square is differentiable. Okay, only at z equals to zero.